Okay, well, this is the shadow colour. It's obviously got quite a big, strong head on it. And this would be quite a strong colour to, um, to, to show how strong the head is. Because in real life, probably, it could detach from the actual ship in real life. It's, yeah. You know, it carries the command centre and everything. Um, yeah. This ship has been through so many different permutations. Again, I'm putting this colour on tonight, but I'll have to paint it, go over it tomorrow. See, with a brush like this, you put the colour in and get the tone right, but you're not necessarily being able to control it. Why is that? Well, because, do you see, look, you're merging the colours. Do you see? Look, look, that's like paler there and darker there. Mm. And, and in order to do that, look, if you film what I'm doing here, you're doing that on there as well. And you're juggling it to try and get it right. You see, look, that is about right now. So is it partly because you don't know how it's going to work when you start putting the paints that, together? Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Because obviously they do also... You see, look, that's a much better reverse colour um, because also... Um, How do you mean reverse colour? Oh, um, it's the other side. So the main light hits there. There's light bouncing up to hit there. And this side doesn't have much light on it. And then that it, it nicely means that you've got all the, where the light's going there. And then, so you see, look, I can fit in this bit down here because I've got a bit of this underside cover. So look. There. And I'll tidy that up later. You could just try a little bit of water. Yeah. And then what I'll do is give this quite a strong bit underneath. And then that's all merged in. There you see, look, that's the underside, you see? But the trouble is, of course, sometimes you get it right like that, but when it dries, it's not quite the same colour. That's very frustrating. And some colours are more different than, than others. Different colour paints behave differently. Yes, that's it exactly. That's it exactly. Um... I notice you're licking the paintbrush. Yes, I tend to. I'm still here, so it can't be that dangerous. I've been doing it for God knows how many years. Yeah. Cadmium is bad. I mean, that is well documented. So you do, maybe I'm dotty, because I used to... You see, hat makers used cadmium, and they were mad as a hatter. And people in different industries where cadmium was used. So perhaps that's why I'm a bit loony. Years and years and years of ingesting. When I went to the, the dentist on one occasion, he said, do you realise you're bright yellow up your nose? And that, of course, was cadmium yellow. But you see, if you stipple it with just a little bit of water, it softens the highlight, do you see? So when you say stipple... Well, look, do you see I'm just dippling up and down? Stipple mm. means you sort of stab at it a bit, mm. almost. Just... A, my pain of my life is I do tend to fiddle. Do you, do you ever go too far and you go, oh, Definitely. No, yeah, I've yeah, yeah, it. I'm on the verge of it now. I want to put a highlight in. I've got to have the discipline of um, not touching it. 
Oh, time and again, I fiddle. And it's a disaster. So this is quite fun, because I've got to do the entry point to that nozzle into here. I quite enjoy doing things like that. So this entry is... Entry point. Yeah. yeah, do you see this nozzle is going ah. into... Do you see? Look. Mm, where it connects. Yeah. So it's a bit of engineering then. Yeah. And obviously use the paint to give the shape. There you go. And then... Uh, Do you partly keep going till the paint runs out? Very much so, yes. So you want to keep going while you've got paint on the palette? Absolutely, yes. Because otherwise, as I've just said, you would throw away of a tube of paint, you might actually only have 10% physically on the board and the rest of it will basically have dried on the palette. So the advantage of acrylic paint is, is that it's very quick drying and the disadvantage of the quick acrylic paint is that it tends to dry on the palette. So you try a friends of mine squirt water on it and things like this. Um, and they also use a little spray on the painting itself, you know, just to... Um, so why did you start using acrylics then? Well, they're awfully good colours. I mean, these Liquitex are really good colours. And also, it's very nice to have them dry quickly, because look, you see, in a minute, I'll be able to go back over that one. Mm. Whereas oil mm. paint, you're, and of course I'm not disciplined, mm. so you really do have to wait the paint to dry mm. so look because i like that bit so much i'm actually going to make a, a stronger red i'm going to use a bit of my lovely fallow blue because i haven't got a lot of it and it's